Hello siblings, I hope you're all having such an amazing day today. Um, happy whatever day it is that I'm posting this. Um, I love you guys so much and thank you for supporting this channel. Today I just wanted to do a little bit of like a catch up, talk. I have so much that I want to share with you guys but I didn't want it to be boring so I'm going to overlay this with just like some clips from vlogs or just cool stuff uh, while I just talk to you kind of like podcast style honestly. And yeah, I'm really excited. So I have so much to share with you guys and let's just hop right in. Honestly, I'm not even really sure where to start, but I guess let's get started with everyone. Comment down below what your life has been like, share some accomplishments, share some hardships. This is a community and I want this to be a safe place. I'll be reading the comments. I want you guys to go read the comments. Kind of like when your teacher asks you to go reply to two comments um, on Canvas or whatever and have a discussion board. Let let's do that in the comments today because this is the sibling community. This isn't just about me and my YouTube videos or whatever. This is about us. We're a family and let's share whatever we need to share. Anyway, <laughs> now that I say it's not about me, let's make it about me and do a little update on my life. So what is new? Okay, first of all, I wanna give an update from my video where it was titled, Depression is Trying to Kill Me, where I opened up a lot about my hardships and I feel like I was going down a path where I was starting to get to a super low point again, not quite as low as I was maybe last summer, but I haven't opened up too much about it, but I had a really, really, really hard depression and I went through it for maybe a whole year. Like it felt like forever. And this started about spring, summerish of 2020. Um, that wasn't the first time I ever felt depressed. I went through like a stage of depression, but there was just so much going on in my life and I was so down. And I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about how I got through it and how I maybe got over it. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but just kind of express like what's been going on, I guess. So the last like month I'd started to feel that way and I talked a lot about that in the last video, so go watch that. But then the best thing ever happened to me. I had this like regain and passion for Jesus. And I know it sounds cliche and dumb or whatever, but it's really what happened. So I finally decided that I wanted to find a church to go to. I mean, I had been looking for one and I just didn't like any of them or whatever. And I went to this church and everything the pastor said felt like it was for me. It just like hit so deep for me. It hit different and I was like crying. And then when we were singing like the worship song at the end, I like could barely like, I couldn't even sing it cause I would have been like bawling. And it was just so amazing. And God was definitely speaking to me and kind of reigniting my passion and love for him. And you know, I really opened my heart to him and I feel like I really, like actually gave my life to Jesus. And since then, since Sunday, it hasn't even been very long, but I'm so happy and ecstatic and passionate. All I wanna do is talk about Jesus and love Jesus. And yeah, I mean, it's crazy because people will say like, Jesus can heal you, but you don't realize he can actually heal you. He can take away that depression. He can take away the burdens, anxieties, whatever it is in your life, but you have to give up your entire life. You have to surrender it to him. And you know, I'm going to be surrendering things to him for the rest of my life, but I don't know. I haven't opened up too much about my journey and, and my relationship with Jesus, but there's just a little bit for you guys. And I literally feel like I'm a completely different person than I was when I posted that video about my depression, which is crazy because it's only been like a few days. Um, but yeah, I just, I love Jesus and I wanted to share that with you guys. So that's like the biggest update and I found a church to go to, which I'm super, super excited about and hopefully being able to get involved in that and make friends through that and all that. Anyway, moving on, speaking of friends, I had a friend come in town who I hadn't seen in like three years. We had met on a trip to the Dominican Republic and she was in Houston. She hit me up, we went to Top Golf, and then some other people came that are friends with her, with her from Houston and I, was like, oh, this is my chance to make friends. So I started talking to them, it was like a couple, and me and the girl, like, uh, how do I say this? Like hit it off as friends, and we got each other's Instagrams. And so yeah, I may have actually just made some friends. I never thought I'd hear myself say that because it's so hard to make friends in your 20s and your adult life. So I'm really, really excited about that. Okay, so that's like a second update. Um, all right, this one, I'm like, don't know if I'm ready to share it yet, but also I'm so excited to share it with you guys. Um, 
as you've noticed, I haven't been posting as much and a lot of that was because I was going through this depressive phase and I just had no motivation for life or anything. I am feeling more vo motivated and everything, but I'm trying to find my passion for YouTube again and what that really means for me. And something I've been talking with some people close to me about and haven't opened up too much about on YouTube is how since YouTube and being a content creator is my full-time job, I'm so thankful for. I mean, it is some people's dream jobs. It's an amazing job. Who wouldn't want to do what they love? I feel like it kind of took the passion out of it since I rely on it to pay my bills, which I personally don't find anything wrong with. Like, if you guys want to watch my stuff and it pays my bills, then I can fully focus on it and make the best content for you guys. Then, yeah, that's awesome. Why wouldn't you want that? But I feel like the fact that that's what I rely on for money has taken the passion out of it and i just i just feel like i need a break from that and i had been feeling this way for probably like two years now but i just didn't know like i felt so lost like what do i actually want to do with my life what do i want my career to be and then i feel like this opportunity just fell into my lap aka god gave it to me and I don't want to open up too much about it because I don't know what it's going to be like. Maybe it won't end up being what I do and I'll go do something else. Um, but I have this opportunity where I can still be self-employed and make my own hours, whatever, work for myself. Um, but I'd be doing something else. And YouTube would be a passion more than a career. And I could just post maybe like once a week but make these videos so much better and about like what I am doing for work and maybe more entertaining content more relatable content because I know all of you are either working or in school so yeah I'm actually taking like a course right now to get my license to do it's not real estate by the way <laughs> um it's not real estate it's not cosmetology but I'm getting a license and I'm going to be starting in the next couple of weeks but yeah I don't want to say what it is or like open up too much about it plus I want to be able to like talk to my parents about it and stuff before they see it on YouTube so uh parents uh if you're watching this i will be talking to you about this soon but i also like kind of want to like commit to it and like get started and then be able to tell people about it before i just throw it out there so yeah i'm really really excited i actually might be starting a whole new career which is crazy and i always wanted a backup plan for content creating and i really didn't even want content creation to be my full-time job because i i just don't like doing just one thing or being at home and being on my computer all day so this would be really cool to actually kind of like get out i guess um yeah i'm super excited about that and I feel like so blessed right now. And yeah, it just feels like everything in my life is going so well. Of course, thanks to God. I mean, I found a church I want to go to. I'm making friends. I have this career opportunity. And I finally feel like Houston is my home. And it hasn't felt like that yet and it finally does like i feel like i'm home i didn't feel this way when i lived in utah i didn't really feel this way in missouri but for the first time i feel myself thinking this is where i belong i love it here i don't see myself leaving and i would love to buy a house here probably sell my house in missouri buy a house here and commit and live here and establish myself make friends get involved in my community and yeah, so I'm just really, really excited about so many different things in my life right now. And I was so hyped that I couldn't wait to tell you guys until everything's like actually quote unquote happening. Like I only went to church once. I I, I am getting the license for this. I haven't even started it, but I'm just so excited to tell you guys. Um, But I will be doing more updates about all the stuff, you know, to come in the next couple months. I'm really excited. And yeah, I just, I don't even know how to express how I feel. I felt so down and depressed and like there was no point anymore and now I feel like I have purpose which is what Jesus does for you so yeah of course <laughs> but yeah uh I had something else to say well oh okay also so something that has been like really hard for me is social media I've always said if it wasn't my job I would delete it it's like, okay, well, now I have the opportunity where it's not going to, well, I'll, obviously, I'll still do it. So, yeah, I'll still be making money off of it. But that's not going to be my main purpose. My main purpose will be to post stuff I actually, like, love to post. And I don't have to do it on a certain day or whatever. Like, I can just post it because I want to post it. I want to share with you guys and feel more like a family and a community, you know? And so what will be really cool is, like... <laughs> I don't have to be on social media all the time anymore. I don't have to be on top of the trends if I don't want to be, which is like so dope. So I'm kind of committing to like taking some time off social media and especially off TikTok. I used to wake up in the morning and just tech check TikTok for hours. I'd scroll for like three hours. Now I'm waking up. I've been trying to wake up before 10 or around 10 a.m., which I know is a little bit late for some of you guys, but I'd been waking up at like 2 p.m. and then scrolling on TikTok and basically doing nothing. I... 
am kind of stepping back from scrolling on TikTok all the time. And I that has helped me so much too in my energy and just my overall, like what I get done in the day and stuff. So I think breaks from social media are awesome, amazing. I can't wait to pull back a little bit from it and just post passion projects on YouTube, even if it ends up being once every two weeks or whatever, like genuinely stuff I love. And I think you guys are gonna really appreciate it too, to see that passion and that light in me again, just like when I was in high school and I just posted because it was fun. Like that was it, it wasn't a job to me. It feels like a job and I don't think you guys deserve that. I don't want that. I don't want that to be like, I don't know. It also feels weird when I meet people to be like, oh, I'm a content creator or I do YouTube full time and I hate the word influencer. Oh my gosh. When someone says, oh, so you're an influencer, I'm like, ew, no, 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 no. Like I'm just a 20 year old girl who happened to get lucky with having you, my YouTube channel, like have a good amount of subscribers and like having this awesome community. You're like, yeah, it's dope, but <laughs> please don't call me that. And so I think it'd be cool to tell people like, oh yeah, this is my job. And then if they find out I have a YouTube channel, it's like, okay, well, whatever. Like that's not my main thing, but it's like dope. So I hope I expressed myself well here and you understood what I'm trying to say. Once again, I just want to say how grateful I am for you guys for helping me in this time of my life. This past probably a year, two years has been the craziest. I almost even want to say the worst, but um, you know, I feel like that's not a good way of thinking about life. I just gotta appreciate where it's brought to me, brought me to now, rather than dwell on how things maybe sucked or I didn't do things right. And now I'm just excited about life. I'm excited to, you know, say goodbye to the old me and start being the new Sydney because I keep saying I've changed, I'm a new person, and then I fall back into old habits and I don't act like the new Sydney and I hold on to the old Sydney and I'm ready to bury her and let her die. And the new Sydney is here to stay and you can get to know her if you want. So yeah, I'm, I'm just so excited about life. I really am. Like, you know, just to reiterate, just to reiterate, is that the right word? Whatever the word is, like, I'm living for Jesus now. I gave my life to Jesus, so I have purpose. I, like, everything I do, like, I wanna make money so that I can give it to people and say, hey, this is from Jesus. Like, that'd be so cool. That'd be so dope. That's like a dream, obviously. So anyway, there you go. Um, I would also love to open up a little bit more about my Christian com conversion story and coming to Jesus and everything. So also be looking out for that. I'm really excited, but I want it to be like such a solid video and really um, be well-spoken in that video. So it's easy to understand and you can maybe feel a little bit of how I feel. So I'm going to take my time with that one, but it will be coming soon. Um, I love you guys so much. Your support means the world to me over all these changes and everything. I know I'm always making announcements and stuff, but I haven't had a, a separate career opportunity happen to me like ever. So I am like, this is a whole new world for me. I'm about to be out in the working adult world, you know, making adult money, doing adult things. I mean, just a little like to maybe explain a little bit about what the job will be. I think I'm gonna have to go buy a suit. Some, and I'm, I've am always wanted to have to wear suit and heels to work. I'm so excited. Uh, anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.